Hello, hello, and welcome back to the vlog. I'm just sitting here bouncing on my ball. <laughs> um, I am, let's see what, 38 weeks, five days. No baby, obviously. Uh, no, no indication that there will be a baby. You know, I, I mean, at this point, I'm like, I'll probably just go to 40 weeks, right? But like, I'm eating my dates, I'm bouncing on my ball, I'm trying to go on walks. You know, I'm, do, I'm doing things. I just, uh, you know, the baby's not ready, not ready. So that's fine. Normally with my vlog schedule, I like to be ahead of myself um, by a week. So if you're watching a vlog, it means I filmed it a week ago, um, which is the same is true for this upcoming week. I filmed it last week, but I don't have anything planned for the week after because like my due date is next week. So I, I wasn't sure if I should film videos this week. I wasn't really sure like what my plan was gonna be when I got to like this point. <laughs> right um if I was gonna start my break early or whatever but I'm already like sad that I'm gonna be on a break I'm excited to be having a baby but I'm already like sad that I'm gonna have to take like a month off my channel probably so I'm like you know what fuck it Rachel just pick up the vlog and start vlogging today you guys don't care but that's my long story I wasn't gonna vlog today and now I am and I guess the reason I'm telling you guys that is because um like I don't have anything planned it's just gonna be another <laughs> regular vlog day for me. So anyway, um, it's a Monday and I do laundry on Mondays. I go grocery shopping on Mondays. I do meal prep on Mondays and the maids come every other Monday, which includes today. So the house will be sparkling and all the chores will be done by the end of the day. I let Mario take the car though, cause I was not thinking when he left this morning. So I instacarted the groceries. So they'll be here soon. I also still have a lot of editing to do. I'm still working on the April Schultzy video. Like I said, they filmed, um, we had the two January fi videos filmed before the new year. Then they filmed the two February videos, two March videos, and the one April video, all in January and February. So I've edited everything up through March two, and now I'm just working on the April video, but it's really long. The video, I don't know if the video's gonna be really long. There's just like literally over a terabyte of footage, which is the most amount of footage we've ever had for a video. And it's just uh, took forever to set these projects up because that amount of footage just really fucked my computer. <laughs> and I even bought a brand new drive for this project knowing that it was gonna be like this, and it's still like my, my system couldn't handle it. So I broke it up into different smaller projects, which is, proved far more successful. And yeah, I'm just working my way through it. Um, so that's kind of the big thing today. So just housework, work, work, bouncing on my ball. I ate my dates for breakfast and um, going on a walk at some point today. I'm probably gonna go on a walk to, there's like a Starbucks, like it's like a little less than half a mile from here that I've been walking to, just to like get outside and get some steps in. I only got three hours of sleep last night, which is like kind of a low for me. I've been doing much better and getting like six hours of sleep for pretty consistently for a while. Not like a six hour chunk, but at least like six hours scattered throughout the night. But last night I couldn't, couldn't. So I only got three hours of sleep, which sucks. So I will just need some, a little bit of caffeine today, but I don't really drink coffee, so I'll probably still get a tea. And yeah, now I'm just using you as an excuse to ramble because I gotta work, I gotta get to work. So let's start it, let's, let's get into this edit. remake the bed but Beethoven is curled up so sweetly it breaks my heart to have to move him literally die for that cat. God, he is so cute. All right, bring another load of laundry down. I want to do some, do some, eat some lunch. Yep. Okay, I got these gluten-free dino nuggets. I should have gotten more. I don't know why I only got this size box. They have a bigger box. Just like trying to save money. I don't know. I regret it already. I want more. I'm gonna make them in my air fryer. Okay, I'm honestly gonna make a bunch because this is my whole lunch. 
I think it's good that I'm already eating like a toddler, you know, before I have one. Um, all right, I put like 14 of them in here and it doesn't give air fryer instructions. Oh, it does. What am I talking about? Um, okay, 400 degrees, seven to eight minutes. Okay, dipping sauces, we're gonna do ketchup, of course. I'm a ketchup girl for sure. If I had mayo, I would make a little Thousand Island, but I don't. But I do have ranch. So we're just having like a full American meal here, right? <laughs> Chicken nuggets, ketchup, and ranch. Honestly, if you ever outgrow the simple joy of like a chicken nugget shaped like a dinosaur, I simply feel so bad for you. <laughs> oh, all right, let's see. 10 out of 10. Unfortunately, I don't know how I'm able to go on my walk to the coffee shop because I have like probably five more hours of editing to do and I wanna cook dinner tonight. It's already one o'clock. I still have to fold laundry. So I just don't think I can take that time out of my day. I could do a little less editing today and a little more tomorrow. I don't know. I gotta look at my schedule and then I'm gonna decide what I wanna do. It's like, anytime I consider push, like I can push the get more of the edits in tomorrow, but it's like every time I push an edit at this point, it's more like, well, am I fucking myself over? Cause what if I go into labor tomorrow? Like I'm at that point, right? Where it's like, I kind of just want to get as much done as possible. I don't know what the right answer is. I don't know. I'm gonna eat my chicken nuggets for now. All right, I've decided to prioritize getting as much editing done today as possible. <coughs> I just keep feeling like if I don't do it, I'll go into labor before I finish this video and that would be horrible. So watch me not go into labor for another week and a half, but <laughs> I don't know. Is not walking the right choice? Probably not, but. I'm out of breath. It's just scary. Laundry up the stairs. I'm gonna get back to editing. All right, uh, it's uh, it's almost seven o'clock. Mary will be home here in like 20, 30 minutes maybe. And I haven't even started dinner. Oof. And uh, I did not get as far along in my edit as I wanted to today. I'm really upset about it. I mean, I mean, not really upset about it, but I'm just like frustrated about it because I was hoping to get to a certain point that I did not. But it's okay, I have tomorrow. I'm glad I didn't go on that walk. I mean, I got a lot of chores done around the house. The house is sparklingly clean because our housekeepers came today. So at least there's that. I'll be cleaning in a, I'll be cleaning. I'll be cooking in a very clean kitchen. Um, I gotta go churn out one more load of laundry. And then um, and then let's make some, some food. I forget what I'm making, but I'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> okay, we're gonna make a spicy chicken thigh pasta. So first I need to make chicken thighs. I forgot this is what I was gonna make and I meant to marinate them in this, but I'll just cook it. I'll cook them with it instead. I love when absolutely everything in the kitchen is clean. Okay, this dinner is super fucking easy. It's literally just the chicken that I am cooking right now. I'm gonna make some pasta and then I'm gonna make a sauce. This sauce. I used to make all the time when I was getting in shape for my wedding. My personal trainer gave me this recipe. My battery died and I'm not exactly sure when. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the recipe again, whoops. It's a cup of tomato sauce, a cup of cottage cheese, and oregano, paprika, and garlic powder blended together. So I have to get the blender out. Um, and she gets pasta out too, yeah? Penne, it's interesting. I got this a few weeks ago, not one of my more frequently purchased shapes of pasta, but it'd probably be good, I guess. I knew I was forgetting something. There's also your heart's content of hot sauce. Oh my God, look at this fucking noodle. <laughs> this is a penne, it's so long. That's fun. Exactly 30 minutes to make that dinner. And Mario's not home, I'm shocked. He's usually home by now. Let's see where he is. Oh, he's still 10 minutes away. Boo. Can I wait 10 minutes? <laughs> he like so genuinely won't give a fuck. You know what, I'll put all the dishes in the dishwasher and then I'll serve myself. 
Yes. Hi. Hi. I finished dinner like I finished making dinner like five minutes ago, and I don't want to wait for you. Will you be mad at me? No, I'm gonna be home in like three minutes anyway. Okay, well hurry in so that your food doesn't get cold. Alright, what'd you make? I made a, uh, like a chicken thigh pasta. Okay. Yeah, no, go ahead. Eat, eat away. Okay. I'll see you in, what'd you say, three minutes? Yeah. Alright, love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. Told you you wouldn't care. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to play on my phone all day because I've been editing. So I'm gonna take the next three minutes to eat. It's delicious, by the way, in case you were curious. I've made this a couple of times, so not surprised. I'm gonna eat this and, and play on my phone. Yeah, right? Did I already say that? I don't know. <laughs> Hello, it's the next day. <laughs> my brain is a little mush. I, um, I get into these flows when I'm editing where I'll just uh, sit down and I'll be like so into the edit and into the system and into the process that I lose track of time completely. Usually they only last like a few hours at a time and then I have to like pee or I have to eat or something. But for some reason this one lasted six hours. So I edited from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. straight. The good news is that the thing that brought me out of it is that I finished the video. <laughs> so um, y'all, I this it took me over 20 hours to get the first version of this video done. But to be fair, there was like I said, over a terabyte of footage on this video. They shot for two days on three cameras, but it's really great. I think it's fantastic. Honestly, I hope there's like not that many notes. <laughs> now it's four o'clock and I haven't eaten since breakfast, which was at 9.30ish I ate. Yeah, my hair completely, I was like, literally I took a shower, I washed my hair and then I was like, oh, I'll just like edit until my hair air dries and then I'll get up and I'll, I'll go outside and take a walk. Once again, didn't go on my walk today. You guys are gonna think I never go on a walk, but I really do. <laughs> I just uh, I just really needed to buckle down the, today and yesterday and get this video done. And I'm really, really glad that I did. Like I said, it took me over 20 hours total to do the whole thing. I started last Friday. Um, usually a V1 of a video takes me like 10 hours total. Um, it really depends. Sometimes it's like eight, six or eight. <laughs> Sometimes it's like 12 but um, it just really depends on how much footage there is, mostly what the video is. This is for the Schultz channel, by the way. It literally only takes me like an hour to edit one of my vlogs. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. My parents came over this weekend. They were up in LA. My mom went to a family friend's bridal shower and my dad went golfing with the husbands. And um, anyway, then they came over and we had dinner, but they had just come back from Hawaii and look at what they bought the baby. Hawaiian shirt with little Hawaiian shorts. It's just so cute. My mom also bought me a box of gluten-free Girl Scout cookies, which I didn't know was a thing, but I ate them all in like two days. So they're gone now. Now I'm making more dino nuggets, but I have to make them in the oven today because my air fryer is dirty and I didn't clean it last night. <sighs> Actually, while the oven's preheating, I should probably just do some dishes. Um, but yeah, it's honestly just to get up on my feet because I have been literally sitting all day. I took a, I took a shower and then I sat and I haven't stopped sitting. And now I'm sitting now to talk to you guys. Oh, I asked Mario, I know in, um, it would have been like three vlogs ago, two vlogs ago. I talked very, very briefly about our villainous bracket. I'm like villainous. And, um, he made it. It's kind of complicated. So I asked him if he would explain it. So when he comes home tonight, he will explain it, but he won't be on for like another three and a half hours. In the meantime, yeah, I guess I'm gonna do some dishes and make some nuggets and uh, probably lay down. Like I was thinking, oh, I can go on my walk now, but like honestly, like my ass hurts from sitting and I just, I just wanna lay down. I just wanna lay down. But honestly, like this is, this is it for work. This is the last video that I had to do. I stopped doing her vlogs a few weeks ago. Um, and this is the video that's going up in April. Like I said, I think we're way ahead of ourselves. Um, because I wanted to get all of this editing done before I had the kids so that I could just enjoy my maternity leave without worrying about editing. Um, so this is pretty much it. She'll send me any notes she's got like tonight or tomorrow. Um, hopefully, like I said, they're really minimal. And then that's it. One round of notes on this one because then I'm done. I'm done working for a few weeks while I have a baby. <laughs> uh, I put a dress on today just because like, you know, I'm wearing whatever fits. I feel like I look cute. Let me show you. Is it hard to see? I can't really tell, but look. Look at how motherfucking pregnant I am. <laughs> 39 weeks, 39 weeks. Look, my belly button is out. There is a baby in there. There's a baby in there. It's my baby and I can't wait to meet him. Okay, I'm getting weird. All right. Um, 
I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> it's the next day. Today is a very important day. Isn't it, buddy? Do you want to tell them why? Do you want to tell them why it's an important day today? Are you seven years old today? Is it my baby's birthday? It's this baby's birthday, not this baby's birthday. <laughs> this baby's birthday. He's seven years old. I have lots of toys and treats coming your way this afternoon. Yes, I do. Yep, it's Beethoven's birthday today. Um, I've been at the doctor's all morning, just my regular 39 week NST and then my doctor's appointment. I did a cervical check. That sucked. <laughs> um, I'm one centimeter dilated, but she didn't seem too <laughs> concerned about it. And it's Beethoven's birthday, so that's gonna make up the majority of my day. I don't know if I've ever talked about like where Beethoven came from, but I adopted Beethoven basically the day that Beethoven was born. A good friend of mine adopted a cat seven years ago from a shelter in Santa Monica. That's where she lived. They told her that that cat, actually it was her roommate's cat, but whatever. They told them that that cat was spayed and in fact not only was that cat not spayed that cat was pregnant <laughs> and that cat had five kittens and one of those kittens was beethoven and i remember so his birthday i know exactly you know sometimes you adopt cats from shelters like we adopted tuna from a shelter we're pretty sure his birthday's march 8th that's what's on his paperwork but we don't know that we didn't actually adopt him until we found him in July, but Beethoven we know his exact birthday because it happened in my friend's closet. Yeah, he's got four brothers. What, my friend kept one of the brothers. My aunt adopted one of the brothers. My aunt's cat Otis is Beethoven's biological brother. And she sent us this picture <laughs> this morning. Otis celebrating Beethoven's birthday. But then the other two went to people I don't know. So anyway, that's Beethoven's birth story. We ended up adopting him. Obviously we ended up going over to visit the kittens. Mario and I had been dating for, I guess, like a year at that point, right? No, a year and a half, a year and a half. Yeah, and uh, we were kind of talking about getting a pet anyway, and then this happened, and then we went over, we met the kittens, Beethoven crawled into Mario's lap. Mario, who had never had cats before, I grew up with cats, Mario grew up with dogs, and we'd been talking about getting a turtle. So like, we <laughs> were all over the place. And then we met Beethoven, and Beethoven, crawled into Mario's lap and he, I could tell the second that that happened that we were going home with Beethoven. We didn't go home with Beethoven that day. We let him stay with his mom for the appropriate amount of time and then we brought him home, I would guess, sometime in late March, early April. Must have been, must have been April. Whenever it is, you know, the eight weeks I think they have to stay with their mom. So anyway, Beethoven's birthday is today. I went on a little Beethoven ramble. But anyway, I went to Trader Joe's. I'm just looking for excuses to walk around. I went on a long walk this morning and I was feeling okay. So I decided to go to Trader Joe's. Um, well, I don't need anything. It's the middle of the week. I already did my grocery run for the week, but uh, I bought some bagels because I have some leftover cream cheese from something I made last week. So I just figured I can have some bagel and cream cheese if I ever don't know what to eat. This is the reason I went to Trader Joe's. I hope they're good. I bought two because <laughs> I didn't want to go back. I am going to try it right now, right here live for you. It's these glazed chocolate donut holes. They're gluten-free, obviously. They're vegan, I believe. Mmm. Oh my God, these are amazing. They taste like munchkins. And I've not had a munchkin in so long. But mm, I got some regular chocolates because I'm always craving chocolate. Uh, this is for Mario. This is like his new favorite thing. I don't know if these are new. He got himself some of these like a few weeks ago and he loves them. He goes through them faster than I've seen him ever go through a snack before. So those are for him. This is our favorite dessert and we ran out, mochi. And uh, this is my lunch today. Their frozen gluten-free mac and cheese is really good. I've said that many times before, but here we are. Um, that's it, that's all I got. I just mostly walked around trying to walk this baby out. I wanna keep eating these, but like I simply should eat real food first. All right, I'm gonna put this away. See you later. Okay. All right, look who I have. Hi. We're 39 weeks today. We sure are. We um, got a week left, maybe. Maybe. Maybe a loss. Maybe, maybe a, little, a little more. Maybe a little more. Sorry, I'm eating my dinner. I wanted him to explain the villainous bracket to you guys, and then I will end this vlog. Okay. Good thing I came prepared. <laughs> uh, so this is something that I uh, have been very excited about. So there are, of the expansions that we have, there are... 18, I believe, yeah, 18 villains that you can play as. I won't go too much into, I guess, how villain this works, but... We're missing four, right? Oh, yeah, four, because there's one more expansion and three that came out recently, and there's the one-off. Yeah, the Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie one. So we don't have all of them, but we have so 18 of them. That's pretty good. Um, there are, there's Disney Villainous, which is what we are playing. There is also a Marvel Villainous that we have a couple of, and there's a Star Wars Villainous, which, shockingly, we don't have mm -hmm. yet. 
That's next. <laughs> uh, I listed out all 18 villains that we do have and told Rachel that we were just going to draft teams like you would yeah, like in recess or gym class or something like that. I gave myself first pick. I did all the work, so. <laughs> um, but we did do, I we did like a, I think a snake draft system, I think. All I did was I found a template for a double elimination bracket online, downloaded that, and then created these brackets. And so, I don't know if you can see. Hey, I'll just do one at a time. <laughs> so green is my team and purple is Rachel's team. And the point of it being a double elimination is it gives us a chance to play with each villain. So that when a person, when a villain loses, they go to the loser's bracket and then we flip responsibilities. So, like in my case, my first overall pick was Scar, because he was my favorite villain. Rachel's was Ursula. Uh, we drafted these based, We you know, we've played villains before this, but not so many times that we like knew what each person's kind of difficulty was. So we just drafted it based on which People one we like. like. Yeah. Uh, turns out our two captains, mine, her, Scar, her, Ursula, uh, were very hard to play with and both lost immediately. <laughs> and then so when they got to the villain bracket, she played as Scar and then I played as Ursula. And the also loser we, bracket. In the, sorry, what I say? <laughs> the villain bracket. In the loser bracket. Um, and then when we played with each other's, uh, they we lost again. Yeah, so they're out. They were, they were out. <laughs> fully out. So you have to lose twice and then you're out. And then, yeah, so it's, it's color coded and then I got a little, a little funky with the color coding in the loser bracket. But if you can see, so if it's a purple first letter, that means that was originally on Rachel's team, but the green rest of the word indicates that I'm the one who's supposed to play with it. And now, like you can kind of see in this first bracket, there were two going against each other that are that color code, which means theoretically I should have played it as both, obviously can't play against myself. So I got to pick. So we give the original captain a choice to pick who to play as. And so because Rachel realized quickly that Ursula was hard hard as <laughs> shit, uh, she picked Lady Tremaine, also known as the wicked stepmother from Cinderella. And that was the right choice, because she won and moved on. <laughs> and that was indicated with a little purple asterisk there. Yeah. That's kind of the, the nuts and bolts of it. I mean, it's, re it's really cool because, like, I don't know, I guess this is probably just the template that he found, but, like, there's little numbers next to all of the games that indicate, like, what order we're going to play the games in. Mm -hmm. And then, like, on the loser bracket, each one has, like, L1, L10, L6. Like, it's, like, the loser of game one, the loser of game 10, the loser of game six. So we, like, know where they fall down here. And there's going to be a, a winner of the winner bracket and a winner of the loser bracket. Right, and they they face off in the grand finale, and if the winner loses that first match, then they get to go. Again. They get to go again because you have to theoretically lose twice. But if the winner wins the first match, that's it. So right now, excuse me, in the winners bracket, our next couple games are Horned King versus Doctor Facilier, uh, Maleficent versus the Queen of Hearts, Pete, like Pete from Steamboat. Willy era uh, versus Yzma, Hades versus the Evil Queen. And then those winners will determine who moves on to the semifinals. But the losers will determine who moves on to the this round of the... Because we only have four of eight filled out for this round of the losers bracket. And then simultaneously, we're keeping track of just like games that we've won. So our nicknames for each other are tomato and potato. That's why there's tomato and potato emojis. And it looks like right now we're dead even. We've each won eight games. Yeah, Rachel got out to an early lead. I know, you uh, kind of overtook I, me I came the other back. day. Yeah, I had, a, I had a strong day. That's our little board game update. Yeah, I could talk about board games uh, For extensively. a long time. yeah. Mar oh, Mar let's just say, I talk, about my, I talk about board games sometimes, but let's, we never get you talk about board games. Mario's favorite board game is, what's that one called? The Ooh, Return, Return to, to Dark, Dark Tower. Tower. That's Mario's favorite Phenomenal board game. Phenomenal game. If anyone ever wants to play Return to Dark Tower, Mario will play it over yeah. and over and over and over again with you. <laughs> there was a, it was based on, there was a game from the 80s, I believe, called Dark Tower. And uh, there's a company called Restoration Games that takes a lot of old games like that and kind of updates them for modern play. And uh, they did such a fantastic job. There's this, like, really there's cool. a literal dark tower that is probably like a good foot tall that is in the center of the the map that you play on and it, it it's it's connected to this iPad and so it's interactive and will like spin around during the game and release things it's 
fucking awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, and, um, and it's a, it's like, it's a, it's a co-op. I also like cooperative games, and so you pl- play with f- up to four different uh, people on your team, and you're all trying to. There's a bunch of variability of villains and missions, and so there's a lot of replayability. Uh, it's a good difficulty level. It's hard, it's hard, but it's not impossible. And you can, and there are different difficulty levels too. I never won with it on it. It took me a while to win for the first time. Yeah. Yeah. I think it took you like three or four times playing to win. It took me like seven times. Oh, more? Really? <laughs> yeah. So but it is hard. It is hard. But and then once you get it, oh my God. Yeah. It's so satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. Did you say happy birthday to the birthday boy? I have. I didn't have a special moment like uh, like you did, but. I have a special Maybe moment. Maybe I'll have a special moment with Tuna on a week during his birthday. Tuna's birthday is in a week. Yeah. His birthday is March 8th. We might have a birthday in between. <laughs> we might have the same two birthdays on one day. Well, it didn't happen today, which is which was important to me. Mm. Because Beethoven deserves his own birthday. Right. Well, Tuna does too. I think Tuna just would be less... Tuna uh, would be okay with sharing. Yeah. Beethoven would not be okay with sharing. Beethoven's a bit of a selfish little bitch. It's sometimes, his birthday. Sometimes, sometimes. It's his birthday. No, he's perfect. He's an angel. He's the love of my life. He's just not a great sharer. Not a great sharer, no. no. But we did that to him, because when he was an only child, we spoiled him. And you know what? We should take a lesson from that, and not do that with this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he's already third in the pecking order of children. That's true. He's got to work his way up the ladder. Yeah. Well, I'll just end with this. Have you been keeping track of all the people guesses people have made on the names? Yeah. No one's right. guessed it. No. But people have guessed other names that were on our list, which I thought was really seen, interesting. Yeah. Um, Someone guessed Luca. Mm-hmm. Someone guessed Vincenzo, which was not on our list, but Vincent was on our list. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, Luca and Vincent were on our list, but not ultimately the names of this baby. Yeah. I will say a lot of Italian guesses. I don't know if you saw today. Yeah. Someone guessed fucking Luigi. I know. I didn't see that. I saw someone <laughs> guess Alfredo. I think that was a joke. I literally, I commented. I was like, be so fucking for real. I saw, I think my favorite name that I saw a guess was, uh... Big Beethoven baby boy or something. <laughs> Someone guessed like Malachi. And I was like, who do you think we Malachi. are? Malachi. Um, I will say that like almost all of the guesses were Italian. Yeah. Which fair, I guess, because of you. But like, I'm not Italian. <laughs> no, no, we got no like, we got no Russian names guessed. No, no Jewish names guessed. No. I'm like, oh, do I just, I don't have it. The name does not happen to be Russian or Jewish. But I'm just saying like, <laughs> why... <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe we should go back and think about a Vladimir, a, a Petrov, uh, a Petrov. <laughs> a, uh, I like the name Peter. That's my confirmation name. There you go. Yeah. Well, that could have worked. Um, anyway, could have no named him it. Mozart. Mozart. We have a Beethoven, Beethoven. We have a Mozart, and then it'd be a double him, M. We could have named him Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Call him a Sal. Yeah. Yeah. So- Solomon. Fuck. Solomon. Fuck. Should we consider <laughs> Solomon? Solomon. That's Jewish. Hey. hey fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's bedtime, right, baby? Did you have a good birthday? Um, I think this might be the last vlog before I take. Uh, holy shit! Let me tell you, if they they said there's a number of things that can indicate labor is about to happen. <laughs> if burping. <laughs> Was one of those indicators. I've been burping a lot. And the baby's about to fall out of you. I think it's because I've been, like, drinking, like, I've been trying to drink more and more water or something. Has that guy been time stamping burps? No, he hasn't shown back up. Fuck. I I know. If he was around you in, like, your day-to-day life, he'd be filling out legal pads. Let me tell you, if it was a sexual thing for him, like... (laughs) He would love me right now. <laughs> he would need to stop. It's like, I can only come so much. Yeah, I think this is my last vlog. If I don't go into labor, I'm going to do a Q&A. About what? Just a generic Q&A. People like them. Oh, okay. They're like some of my most viewed videos, so I assume people like them. Mm. Be on the lookout for that. If not, this might be my last vlog. So anyway, it's been a wild journey vlogging this pregnancy. Uh, today, the baby is the size of a short haired domestic cat. So basically Beethoven, but with short hair. Yeah, he's coming out soon. And I'm so fucking ready. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Yes. I'm like physically ready. I'm ready. I'm, I still think once it starts happening, I'll still have that like rush of like, oh my fucking God, it's happening. Yeah. But intellectually. Yeah. You're like ready. Yeah, you're ready. like, the concept is there. Yeah. We're going to have a kid. Yeah. The kid's going to be here. Yeah. Uh, anyway. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And hey, Richard Nixon, what are you I doing? <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. You are... 
barely. Oh, there you go. That, yeah. That re-exposed. The you white are, balance on white. this camera is like wild, and it like does its own thing, and it's just wild. Anyway, I need a new fucking camera. Thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> this vlog. I usually say see you in the next one, so I'm trying to think of something else to say. I mean, you will vlog again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you in the next one, which should be in a few weeks. And there will be a baby. Not on the internet, but on my boob. And in our hearts. And where? It's like, I don't have anything. Oh, man, that would have been great. I know. Yeah. Anyway, bye! Bye!